Hey guys, Fukunoa's Meister here with Android Police. Today I wanted to show you some of my favorite video players for Android as there are so many options in the Play Store and it's hard to know which one is the best one. Just a heads up, all these video players are pretty well known so you may be familiar with a few, if not all, but I will explain what makes each one stand out from the crowd, the pros and cons, and in the end tell you which one is my overall favorite. Let's start it off with a classic, VLC for Android. This media player can play just about any video or audio file you throw at it while also supporting subtitles, teletext, and closed captions. Within the app, it'll show you all of your local videos, audio, and supports network streaming. When you play a video, the layout is simple and easy to use, but also has a ton of features hidden within it, such as gesture controls for time seeking, brightness, and volume. It also has a sleep timer, you can change the playback speed, an audio equalizer, optimize the aspect ratio, and more. But what I really love is that it supports picture-in-picture -picture mode for Oreo devices, which surprisingly not a lot of Android video players have yet. Plus, it's completely free with no in-app purchases, which is a plus for me. The only downside is that the categorization of videos is not great, and I have recently seen a couple users complaining about their audio playlist being deleted after the app gets updated. Next on this list is MX Player. You're probably familiar with this one as well, but if you don't know its full potential, then let me just show you. Right off the bat, this app can't solely play your audio files, so it only focuses on playing your videos. Nonetheless, the video player is still great as it's easy to use and packed with tons of features. It supports a wide range of file formats, hardware acceleration, screen lock, gesture controls, custom zoom, local and online subtitles, which you can customize, playback speed, network stream, sleep timer, and more. It's a pretty solid video player, but the only downside is that it doesn't support DTS and AC3 audio files out of the box due to licensing issues, and there are ads which you can remove if you pay a hefty $5.99. Still, it's an excellent video player that gives you a good video experience. Video player all format is next on this list. It also doesn't support audio files, but what I love about this video player is that it has unique features that most of its competitors don't have. So along with the usual settings such as gesture control, sleep timer, playback speed, subtitles, and more, they also include a night mode option which dims the video no matter how high your brightness is. It supports cast so you can load up your videos onto another screen such as a TV hooked up to a Chromecast. You can preview the video when you adjust your position on the seek bar, lock videos with a pin to keep them private, and you can quickly switch to another video thanks to the video playlist menu. It's definitely feature packed and I appreciate how much of them are easily accessible so I don't have to find them deep within a menu. I also couldn't find any deal breakers but there are ads which aren't too intrusive. A single payment of $3.99 will remove them. This is the highest rated video player on the Play Store and it definitely shows within the user experience. If you're looking for a multimedia player that has a material design, mobile player is a great choice. The interface is simple, clean, and loads everything quickly. When playing a video or audio file, it can do the usual, but also includes full player, which is similar to picture-in-picture -picture mode. You can push the video onto a DLNA device, loop a certain part of the video, rotate the picture, capture a frame to save as a PNG file, cut the video into a GIF, and more. So it does have a ton of unique features with a great looking interface, but I did find a few bugs, such as in the full player, and sometimes it does force close. It feels like it's still in beta. Nonetheless, it's completely free, so if you're looking for a nice looking video player, give it a try. This last Android video player is a solid choice. It has a similar interface to MX Player, but it doesn't overwhelm you with a ton of fancy features that you'll never use. It keeps it nice and simple with only what's necessary. This includes gesture controls, sleep timer, playback speed, cast and subtitle support, window mode, audio or subtitle offset if playback isn't in sync, you can stream videos from a website or a local network, and more. Nothing crazy, there are ads, but nothing annoying. Overall, it's a simple video player that gets the job done. Anyways, those are my top picks to replace your stock featureless video player. Personally, I am going to use video player all format because it's packed with tons of features which are all easily accessible, and I haven't experienced any issues with this one at all. Aside from not having picture-in-picture -picture mode or video streaming, this will provide me with a great video experience. Let me know in the comments what video player you use or recommend, drop a like if you enjoyed, get subscribed for more awesome Android content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.